people. They're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? And this is why we invested so much and are going to continue doing these repeating efforts to, uh, to make sure that no one else can agree with everything that your families have to You know, why, Mr. Zuckerberg, why should your company not be sued for this? Why is it that you can claim, you hide behind a liability shield, you can't be held accountable? Shouldn't you be held accountable personally? Will you take personal responsibility? Senator Josh Hawley emphasizes the importance of holding technology companies accountable for potential harm caused by their platforms. He questions whether these companies should be shielded from legal consequences. His focus is on issues of freedom, authenticity, and power dynamics between corporations and individuals. Hawley advocates for victims and their families, aiming to protect individuals from harm and acknowledging the psychological toll on affected families. He highlights the importance of recognizing human suffering and addressing the experiences of those impacted. The sincerity of Mark Zuckerberg's apology is scrutinized, questioning whether it reflects genuine remorse or is merely a response to public and political pressure. The ethical considerations regarding corporate practices are discussed, along with the need to examine individual responsibility, particularly in the case of Zuckerberg. The validity of holding both individuals and businesses accountable is emphasized as a crucial aspect to consider.